Asperger's and making or maintaining friends. I had some things I wanted to say about this. <laughs> I've read countless times about Asperger's that they have a hard time either making the friend in the first place and if they do make a friend that they have a hard time keeping that friend. This is never really something that I had questioned until you know more recently in my life but I can tell you that throughout my life I'd always have sort of like a a time span on any one of on any one friend that I would have but I was okay with that because it's like when one would stop another one would pick up um, I was also very shy and you know naive and gullible growing up and I just have a word of advice to people that are like that uh, don't be so shy because if you are shy then you're kind of leaving it for people to make friends with you and if you aren't shy then you're you have more of a pick of different people and that's how I became in college and <laughs> I'd have like five friends at any one time and you know I'd still lose them but <laughs> then I'd have a couple more to take their place or whatever a big part of that was the acting classes I took and stuff and in the confidence I got at boarding school before I started college but <laughs> anyway I never questioned any of that and I am in no way trying to throw myself a little pity party I actually know that in my life I felt like I had friends for a very different reason than neurotypicals do. For me, I was just happy for whatever I got. I felt like I wanted life experience from my friends. I wanted to learn something about a, a different kind of person. And, and even though I enjoyed the company of those people, I wasn't really sad when they were gone and I was someone that always really really enjoyed meeting new people. I also wonder how big a part of that is because I uh, I went to private school for a few years and then I wrote a scary horror story and they didn't want me back and I didn't want to go back and suddenly was thrust into a public school and didn't know what I was doing was I was really scared when I went to that public school and with a private school it's like there was sixth through twelfth grade less than a hundred people so that was that was a part of the shyness too but anyway um they're supposed to have a hard time making or maintaining friends and i've only gotten better at that recently and like i said my advice is to not be shy and to you know not put all your eggs in one basket so to speak with friends and not only that but have different interests you know for me all i liked doing growing up was video games and so it's not exactly a social thing. If I had been more like I am now with varying interests and hobbies, I definitely would have met more people. But when I was younger, I had a hard time with them. Eye contact and just talking to people was just scary for me. I mean, I might have been interested in sports, but because of bowling situations and because of me lacking coordination, not wanting to give them another thing to bully me about and, and just being scared to talk to people. I mean, joining sports wasn't exactly like an option for me for a lot of reasons at the time and felt. But anyway, I wanted to talk about that a little bit and I wanted other people to kind of give their feedback with them and what happens with them. I mean, I could tell walk through so many bad friends and it was usually me walking away, by the way. And I've also found that if you are someone that's gifted with kids. <laughs> be friends with the kids, I'll be friends with you forever, is one other thing. But um, I know I'm gifted with kids, and I wonder how many other Asperger's people are gifted with kids as well. I think that for me, I, I sort of see kids in a unique perspective and have a lot of patience for them. And I see other parents get so mad at their kids for like the stupidest stuff, and I just think, are you serious? Like, you, you're really that mad about that? But. Anyway, I just wanted to give some thoughts about that.